Hundreds of friends and family members gathered this morning to say goodbye to Missouri soldiers. That group is headed to Afghanistan. And in the wake of bin Laden's death, many fear a backlash. But as KOMU8's Emily Spain tells us, this team claims it is ready for anything. We not only have to win a war, we have to win peace. A team of soldiers honored for their service as they prepare to head to the Middle East. Every one of these fine Missouri's is going to Trump. Stepping up when we need them to make a sacrifice. A sacrifice that means leaving loved ones. Agribusiness Development Team 5 will guide locals on projects like food storage, meat processing, and irrigation, and some will serve as watchdogs. And uh, my job with the security force is to um, protect them. Lieutenant John Wade is the father of five, ages nine to one. Today, he leaves them for 11 months, his second and longest deployment. We've spent a lot of time with the kids, individual time with them, and we've got uh, Facebook and emails. Safety a top priority, especially after bin Laden's death. Hopefully it won't change our mission too much. Hopefully there won't be any backlash um, from the Taliban against us, but whatever, we're ready for anything. And Governor Nixon thinks so too. I thank you for your selflessness, your dedication. I know that you will get the job done. May God bless Missouri. May God bless the United States of America. Emily Spain, KMU 8 News, Jefferson City. That unit left today for Indiana to finish training before it heads to Afghanistan. This team will replace ADT-4, which did lose one member. Sergeant First Class Robert Ferris of Seymour near Springfield died in January from wounds when insurgents attacked his unit. He was 48 years old.